Financial Dealings 1. In a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 2076, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, supplicated for the mercy of Allah, the Exalted, on those who are lenient in financial matters, such as buying and selling goods, and when they demand the repayment of a loan. It is important for Muslims not to be greedy in financial matters, as greed pushes one towards the unlawful. Even if one avoids the unlawful, greed will deprive a Muslim of this supplication of mercy, as greed will prevent them from acting leniently with others. Put simply, greed takes one far from Allah, the exalted, far from paradise, far from the people and close to hell. This has been warned in a narration found in Jami Atimizi, number 1961. A Muslim must never take advantage of others by overpricing their goods especially in times of general difficulty, such as a financial crisis. In all financial matters, Muslims should make all matters clear to the other people involved, as hiding things, such as a defect in their goods, is deceitful and contradicts the characteristic of a true Muslim. In fact, a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 2079, warns that when people deceive others in financial matters, the blessings of Allah, the exalted, are removed. This removes satisfaction with their wealth, irrespective of how much they obtain and possess. This in turn causes one to become greedier. The more one becomes greedy, the less peace they will obtain. Finally, when others are in financial difficulties, a Muslim should strive to aid them according to their means, as this leads to the constant support of Allah, the Exalted, in both worlds. This has been confirmed in a narration found in Sunan Abu Dawood, number 4893. In fact, the one who waives a debt they are owed for the sake of Allah, the Exalted, will be relieved by Allah, the Exalted, in both worlds. This has been advised in a narration found in Sunan Ibn Majah, number 225. Showing leniency and good conduct during business dealings will improve one's business reputation, which in turn will aid their business. So adopting leniency in matters of business leads to benefit in both worldly and religious matters. Finally, Adopting leniency in matters of business will also ensure a Muslim understands that their business is not their number one priority in life. It is nothing but a means to an end, the end being preparing practically for the hereafter. This involves using the blessings one has been granted in ways pleasing to Allah, the Exalted. Whereas, the one who fails to show leniency in matters of business will become greedier. And greed always focuses a person's attention to earning and hoarding the material world. This becomes their ultimate goal and number one priority in life. This then prevents them from practically preparing for the hereafter. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.